What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday. I hope you've had a good week. I have kind of had a slow week trying to find cars. Could only find a couple of, of the newer cars, but I just decided to dig into the collection and we're going to dig out some other cars from the last year and the year before. Some Forza cars there as well. I've also been putting some cars onto display. So far I've got 120 cars on display here. I'll give you a good panning shot. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks I will be putting some of these other cars that, were, that should be on display up. And every so often I'm going to change up the display up the back there just so, just so it keeps it fresh and interesting. So, without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Where do we want to start? Let's we'll start with these ones. These are the Volkswagen K4 Racers in the Momo livery. This one, a US card, showing that it is a new model for 2017. We have one in the black with red and yellow striping. And one in the red with just yellow striping. Both very cool looking cars. So we'll open them both up and check them out. There we go, the first one in nice shiny gloss black with your Momo decals on the side. Big Momo written on the rear on the giant wing. Such a great cast in the K for Racer. If anyone likes like real speed machines, like land crew, uh, where they land speed machines and stuff like that, they'll like stuff like this. Just so cool. Just built for speed. Very nice. And then we'll check out the red one. I think the red one's a very nice colour. It's a nice bold red. Nice bright bold red. Yellow stripes. Momo. And those nice yellow wheels look really good on this one too. So all in all, I think these two are a great little pair. Let's sit these ones up the back here. Let's go through this one. The 67 Jeepster Commando. I was trying to see if I had already opened one of these, but I couldn't find any. So I'm going to open this one and finally get to check out this little motorcycle in the back. So, from the Hot Truck series, the Jeepster Commando. Earl Motors. I like these wheels. I reckon they look pretty good. Nice looking motorcycle on the back. It's a nice little touch. Got some good detail on it actually. It even has something written there on the on the actual motorcycle fork. I think it just says Earl. Can't quite see it through the actual viewfinder. And it says Jeepster Commander there. Pretty nice looking casting. Got a winch on the front and all. And a little sunroof. This would be a good one to see with a little bit more detail, maybe in a premium range. And a metal motorcycle would be cool too. That one up the back there. Which one? Which one? Let's go for this one. Yes, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS from the Nightburners series. This one is from 2015. 2016 would have been the re release year for it. So nice.
So it's been a slow week. Is the perfect opportunity to open some of these nice cars, which I've just kept aside for a, a proper occasion. This one is not a nice lime green lens headlights. Got your Porsche badge on the front. Nice low front splitter there. These wheels are cool too. GT3 RS logo. Porsche on the wing. No rear detail. But all in all, it's a really nice looking car. Very nice in my Porsche collection. What do we go for next? What's, what's this one? Ah, the 1990 Acura NSX in black and gold. This one here is also going to be from 2016. Really cool car. The NSX in general's a really, really cool car. You can see the engine in the back there. Nicely detailed casting. And this one has a, a only a lightly tinted window so you can actually see all the detail into it. Sometimes when they put the dark tint on it you can't actually see any of the detail. But this one's got some really nice Really nice lines, all black, just with your gold, metallic gold striping on the side, metallic chrome ring around the side, and it has got rear details where it says NSX, there's some cardboard on my finger, I was wondering what that was, I thought it was a little spider or something, for a second then it looked odd. Anyway, we'll put this one up the top. And go for this one. The Dodge Challenger Drift Car. And this one here has this... Oh, I don't even know what colour to describe it. It's a pink, purple, blue. Really nice pearl on this colour. It is by far my favourite colour on any Hot Wheels. I have a few cars which are in this colour and they just look awesome. Really nice. Such a stunning colour. You can kind of see the, the colour shift in it. It's got some, looks like metallic blue in there. Got your good race graphics on the side of this. Nice big OH5s. Really cool. Nice detail on the front. It's not painted, but it has got nice nice detail in the casting. Hemi. It's a really cool looking car actually. Very cool looking car. Up next, custom Ford Bronco. Regular treasure hunt. It's been a while since I've opened a treasure hunt. So let's open it and check it out. So here it is in the uh, this kind of matte black finish, or a flat black, I should say. Arek, A R E K, written on the side. Here's a little logo. Well, that's been for a while. Not a bad looking casting. Not one of my favourite castings, but it was a regular treasure hunt, and I like to at least collect at least one of each. One of each regular treasure hunt's all I need. And all right, we'll do we'll do a Ford's one. Two thousand nine Ford Focus RS. Ford's a motorsport series from two thousand seventeen or two thousand eighteen, I should say. So relatively recent. You have your Ford Xbox and Forza logos all on the side. These wheels look really good with this. They really, really suit that nicely. Ford logo, Forza Motorsport, black stripes. 
pretty good casting. Would be better with front and rear headlights and tail lights. And here we go, the 2013 SRT Viper in this beautiful pearl green paint job. Nice card art too. That looks really cool. Nice front headlight details. Got a little Viper logo on the front there too. Forza SRT Xbox. Nice stripe. I reckon that stripe looks really cool. Nothing on the side. Nothing on the rear. But that paint job is really cool. It kind of shifts between a green and a yellow. So, very interesting. Next, Porsche 934.5. This one is also a new model for 2017 in a nice white paint. I've got, got to clean up all this mess. Hang on a second. Too much stuff. Too much plastic next to me. <laughs> and when the camera will decide to focus. There we go. Really nice looking car. You got your front headlights, your Porsche logo, a little bit of black trim on the bumper, grey lace wheels, giant wide body and spoiler, giant spoiler. That's so cool. We still got a few cars to go. All right, let's get a move on. 90 Acura NSX, this time it is in yellow with black. And yes, I did get out a few of the same car, just different color combinations. But this one here is the more common color you would see an NSX in, at least in my opinion anyway. This one has the really dark tinted window, so it's really hard to see the the engine through it, unless you've got a really bright light like I have, and then you can then you can see through it and see more Porsches. How many Porsches did I grab out? This is the 934.5, only this is the black and blue version. And this one's really nice. This gloss black and these blue lace wheels just look really cool. Blue interior. So you can see inside there a little bit better. See all the stuff inside. Exactly the same as the white one, but just looks really cool in black. All right, another Porsche, the 993 GT2. Let me just have a look. Did I put in, how many Porsches did I put in here? Okay, I think this is the last Porsche, at least for today. Maybe there'll be another day when I open another 10 Porsches in a row, or five. It's really nice. Once again, has the lace wheels, which really actually work with this car. You can even see it's got the black something on the front there. Looks like it could be the uh, little hood scoop. Uh, not quite sure, to be honest. This one has a license plate. Can't quite read that. It's a little bit blurry. Lensed headlights. Are they really? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're lens headlights. And this one has a rear license also. Nice, nice paint job on that one. Really cool paint job. Put that one down there. And then we've got this. Another opening features. This one here is the 63 Chevy C10 pickup truck. Really nice. I've really been enjoying these opening feature cars recently. 
ever since Matchbox decided to come back out with them. I don't see why they need to be expensive though compared to a regular Matchbox. I mean, it's just an opening feature. It doesn't have special wheels or extra special paint. It's just something that they used to do back in the day and now they charge a couple of extra bucks for it. Yes, I'm still going to keep buying them, obviously. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus very well today. It does say something on the side. I think it's just the Chevy, Chevy bow tie. Such a cool looking truck, this. I'd love to own one of these in real life. Do all my business stuff in this. Have that as my workshop truck. That'd be awesome to carry everything in. Really cool. I might leave the I'll leave the engine open. Next, Dodge Viper SRT 10 ACR Nightburner series from 2016 again. <laughs> so yeah, I've gone kind of crazy digging out a whole bunch of whole bunch of cars out of the collection. But as you as you all know, I will be opening every single car in my collection eventually. It'll take a while. There's quite a few cars to go. But stick around. You will see everything get opened. Even all the ones on display there will eventually get opened. So this is a really nice kind of a sky blue metallic pearl sky blue. Love the paint job. All your graphics on the side there. Speed Hunters, Toyo Tires, ACR, Hot Wheels. Front headlight details are really cool on this one. Put that down next to the other Viper. Now, we'll go for... Yeah, there we go. Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. And once again, another pearl paint job. I'm a very big fan of the pearl paint jobs. As I can see. One, two, three. Oh, only three. This will be four. But yeah, I really do like the pearl paint jobs. This is a nice pearl white. Nice gold chrome ring around the, the wheels. Great headlight details. All your Forza logos. Ah, oh, I just realized. That's the Forza logo, just twice to make it look like a set of wings. That's pretty creative. Very cool car. Very, very cool. And... All right, we'll just do this one. Here we have a color changes Volkswagen Transporter. So it's like a T2 pickup. And here this one will be going to silver. If I hold my finger on it, you see the color, color change. So I'll hold my finger on it while we talk about it. Volkswagen service and parts, Matchbox Volkswagen. Nice good clean detail on the front. Not much paint work, but what do you expect? It's got a trailer hitch. There is a variation with the the flatbed without the, the junk in the trunk. I also have that. I just this is just an extra one that I have. So there you go. That would be a silver car. Uh, warm this up a little bit. You don't really have to use hot water for these, which is good. You can see the graphics change there. So just a nice warm touch. Hold it in your hand for a minute and it'll start changing colour on you. It's going to start changing colour pretty quickly because I've got the heater going on. But there you go. Maybe that will change all the way to silver as we sit here. Next is the 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car in the Castrol livery. Black with green and red striping. Green, red and white striping. The Castrol colours. I really like this one. Such a cool looking car. Such a great casting. Lace wheels once again. 
they just kind of go with a lot of cars. Lensed headlights. You see that there's actually a, a clear plastic piece inside there, which looks really cool. Castrol on the front. Really nice casting. Really nice casting. Very nice. Put that one down there. And there's only a couple of cars left, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff I got from the markets the other day. So, some cars down there. We don't really need to talk about them, but as you can see, they're all like, I don't know, between 20 cents and 50 cents. And I got a couple of extra Holdens. Holden police car. They're a little bit worse for wear. They've definitely been played with a lot. Holden race car. Mark Scaife. The Holden Ute. Definitely been played with. This one's missing the spoiler off the back. But we'll get to that. And then there's something else I found. So, last one of the last two cars from the Hot Wheels Racing Circuit series. This is the 69 Corvette. I'll show you the back quickly. There's all the cars in there. Really like these Corvettes. Side pipes are always a winner. Hot Wheels number nine. Hot Wheels Racing. Pretty nice looking paint. Not really a, uh, a bright red. It's kind of like a, a dark red getting towards a brown, I guess. Nice detail, at least. I really like the, uh, the Hot Wheels Racing liveries that they do. Always been a big fan of those. And then we have... The Pontiac GTO in matte black. You see the cover there? Cover art's pretty cool on these as well. Everyone loves the GTO. Really, really nice looking. Ooh, don't drop it. Really nice casting again. Very cool casting, I'll have to say that. Have your number five Hot Wheels racing. Pretty basic tampos, but it goes really well with this car. Kind of fits the fits the car very well. And then I'm not even gonna go through these properly. We'll just get them out one by one. World's fastest Ute. I'll throw these up quickly. Holden race car. Another Holden race car. Garth Tander. It's been in an accident. Here we have a Gillette Mac 3 Alfa Romeo. This is a Track Stars. Not entirely sure who makes these. Just says made in China on the base. But I also have a, uh, a Duracell batteries, one of these. Next, I think this is split an image. Split an image two with the awesome flame paint job and the bubble canopies. Very cool car. And got, yeah. Giant exhaust going all the way through the middle of the car. <laughs> Just realised what that was. That's your exhaust pipe going all the way through there. How funny. Then we have the Matchbox. Oh, not the Matchbox. The, uh, the Holden Commodore police car. It's 
so I still actually in pretty good condition. It's in played with condition, obviously, but give you a look at the base quickly. HSV Police GTO Coupe. Very cool. Then we have this thing. It was just it was in one of the bags which I got a lot of the other cars in, same as the splitting image. RD02. Not a bad looking car for a fantasy casting. Then we have a Mercedes Benz. A little bit of a, uh, a squash in the roof. But that's actually a fixable thing. Or just leave it like that. So it's got front and rear detail. Nice red paint job. CLS 500. And what do we got left? Still a few cars. There we go, the the famous, well at least Australia famous, any Australia wide famous, the VL Walkinshaw. Really cool, wild body kit. These in real life are just an absolute, an absolute sight. They look so cool, like just beyond cool. They're completely 1980s, but it's 1980s cool. Here we have a Mustang. Rear details. And that's all. Some markings in the casting. Ford Mustang GT concept. And the last two cars is the Peter Brock. Commodore, number 05, most famous race car driver in Australia, every Australian knows who Brocky is, he is literally Australia's biggest legend, or one of, one of the greatest race car drivers Australia's ever seen. And this is the 40 something. 40 something. Alright, I'll put that up there. Get all the cards out of the way because there's a lot of them. And then the last thing I found was the new Fast and Furious 5 pack. And I have to say, I was going to do a review on this. I do my whole 5, five pack review unboxing thing, but I wasn't really overly impressed with it, to be honest. It's got some really great cars in there, but I don't know. It just does not say Fast and Furious to me. It's got some cars from Fast and Furious, but, well, that's a repeat. That's a repeat. That's already been released. It's just got different wheels again. I think that's a repeat. I think maybe this one's just got a slightly different um, paint job, possibly. Um... Let me see if I can see it up here somewhere. <clears throat> Is that the same car? Is it Chevelle SS? Yep. <clears throat> so, that's already been released very recently. All the cars have just been released so, recent, so, so recently, so I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'm still going to do a review on this, but I thought I'd give you my own personal opinion here on the Mystery Box Monday episodes where I like to have a chat with you guys and catch up on the week and everything like that. And yeah, Fast and Furious pack. Not that fast and not that furious. Where's the JDM? Where's any, any JDM? I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to rant. So, I will leave you guys. For a week, I'm going to put that out of the way and give you a little bit of a 
a look at the cars. Nice slow pan, take it all in. And until next week, I hope you find something cool for your collections. I always like to hear what's available. I always like to have the comments in there, down there below. Always leave me a comment, tell me what I should be finding. And until next week, I hope you have a really good one. I'm going to try and try and get as many cars up on the wall as I can. Uh, this is what I've been using. Command no nails, no damage. What are they called? Decorating clips. They're just little tiny cable clips. So that's six dollars fifty for a packet of twenty. It's already cost me fifty dollars. Well, about forty dollars to do a hundred and twenty eight cars. 128 cars for 40 bucks. It's not too bad when you think about it, but then when you think that I'm going to try and get over a thousand cars up on the wall, it's going to be a little bit expensive. So, until next week, you do your thing, I'll do my thing, and we'll catch up then. And tell me, always want to know.